Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Lizon from Light Integration. Today's video is a review on the Ferrobulb Near Infrared Incandescent Heat Lamp. The reason for this review is because there is a lot of misinformation and misunderstanding out there when it comes to incandescent heat lamps that can be used in saunas or for individual heat therapy. This information makes it very difficult for a person to ensure that they're getting what they're looking for, which is ultimately beyond the heat benefits, it's the photobiomodulation benefits. Today I explain why this bulb ticks all the boxes and allows you to get what you deserve if you're going to be spending this sort of money on these lamps. The key factor when speaking about these incandescent heat lamps is understanding the concept of correct dose. We need to ensure that you're getting the correct amount of photobiomodulation as I've explained in other videos, too much or too little and you run into problems. You don't get the benefits you're looking for. Think of this as a little bit like medicine. If you were to go to the doctor, you're going to go and you're essentially going to explain what your problem is. They're going to, with their knowledge, assess what the correct medicine is for you first of all and then they have to determine what the correct dose is. And that's the thing with photobiomodulation you need to determine the correct dose and virtually no lamps out there aside from the therabulb allow you to determine the correct dose and I'll explain that as we go along. So what therabulb has done is they've actually invested in very expensive independent lab testing and they've actually determined what the output is from their lamps as well as the dose. Now I need to explain a little bit about output. These near infrared lamps that you can see here on the box, they, they are titled near NIRA near infrared individual bulb. That's somewhat of a misnomer because it makes people think that the bulb is pure near infrared, which it's not. It has near infrared and then it the progresses through the spectrum into mid-infrared and then into far-infrared because the far-infrared is what actually produces the heat. Near-infrared is actually heat-less. There is no heat whatsoever with near-infrared. So these lamps are great because they provide a certain amount of near-infrared light, but you need to measure that. And that's where this independent lab testing has come of a great benefit because they've done the output testing. And you can see behind me the percentages of the output from the, to the total output from this lamp. You can see the percentages in the therapeutic healing range. It's also known as the mitochondrial stimulation band. It essentially ranges between 600 nanometers and 1000 nanometers. That's the healing range for photobiomodulation. And you can see that the lamp provides a very significant percentage of its output in the near infrared range, approximately 37%, which is a great number. So we know we're getting the correct medicine. Another benefit when talking about the output is that with these lamps, you're getting what we could refer to as the full spectrum of this healing range. So you're getting for sort of 600, then 601, 602, and so on, and it works its way all the way up through the full spectrum of this photobiomodulation range, whereas LED lamps typically only provide you one single frequency or wavelength, which is typically in the red around 680 or 660, and sometimes in the near infrared is around 850. But this full spectrum gives you more of what nature has intended, which is essentially getting your photobiomodulation from the sun. So it's closer to mimicking that and has a lot of health benefits that way. The other very important feature of this bulb is the correct dose. I cannot stress this enough. If you get too little or too much, you lose the benefit of what you're trying to do. The correct dose depends on one single factor. You need to know what's called the irradiance level, or some people call it the power density. Now, there are ways to measure this irradiance level, and with LED lights, it's very easy. You use a handheld PAR meter. You might have seen them in other videos on, online. You hold it in front of the lamp. It gives you a reading in milliwatts per square centimeter, and you know what your irradiance level is, so you can calculate your dose. The problem with these handheld PAR meters is that they do not 
properly measure broadband light, multiple wavelengths of light. They tune into single frequencies more so, they detect single frequencies better. And we know that it overinflates the readings on these lamps. So if you hold a PAR meter in front of a TheraBulb lamp, it'll give you a reading that is significantly inflated to what the actual irradiance level is, and that in turn will give you the incorrect dose. So TheraBulb has invested with that independent lab testing. They've invested in that and they've determined what the actual irradiance level for their bulbs are, which you can see up here on the screen. And at 60 centimeters, we know that the irradiance is 6.56 milliwatts per square centimeter. And what that means is in 60 centimeters we use because that's the typical distance in a sauna that you would want to be away from the lamps. What it means is that we know after a 30 minute sauna, you're getting 12 joules per square centimeter. That's a great level. We now know what your dose is and you can work with that and use it to impact what your goals are when you're in the sauna or when you're using an individual lamp for different health needs. So the TheraBulb lamp provides you with the medicine and it provides you with the dose, which I believe at the time of this video is the only lamp that can do that. A quick story, I had a person send me a lamp, I won't mention the brand, and they sent me the lamp and they said, look, this is, it does all this, it's great, it does this. And I said, oh, that's, that's great, it looks like a wonderful lamp. Send me the specs so that I can have a look at it and see what's going on. They can't. They actually sent me the specs, which is what most people do, for a Philips lamp. Now, the specs on that Philips lamp are accurate, but if you look at the lamp, it's a different type of lamp. It's not an incandescent lamp that is designed to last the sort of 5,000 hours that these lamps are. It only lasts a shorter period of time, so it's been designed to produce more near-infrared, but it's not the same as these sorts of lamps. So the specs are very important if you're going to be doing your photobiomodulation with these incandescent lamps. Now there's a couple of other things about the lamps that you want to know if you're going to be using them for your own health and well-being. So when you purchase a lamp, you want to know that it's certified CE, that it's certified ROHS, which means that it's free from mercury and lead and Teflon and some of those other things that you do not want in your lamps. And you also want to know that it's going to be low in production of EMFs. The good news is that really all of these lamps are low or negligible in the EMFs when you use them at the recommended distance of 60 centimeters. One final thing of note, when you are looking to purchase your lamp, just make sure that you choose the correct voltage for your country. You need to ensure that you have the right voltage, otherwise the lamps won't work and you'll waste your money. So just double check that when you're purchasing your lamps. So there you have it. That's my formal review and explanation of what to look for in an incandescent heat lamp. It's understanding the output, it's understanding the irradiance level so that you can get the health benefits from photobiomodulation that you're looking for. Now I do want to disclose how I came to find out about TheraBulb. I've been doing photobiomodulation for about 10 years now and I've always struggled with this irradiance level and trying to figure it all out. And it was a number of months ago that I actually contacted TheraBulb and through a couple of emails found out that they do this independent testing and that they have their spec sheets. As a result of that, I now use TheraBulb exclusively. So I do want to disclose that, that there may be a little bit of personal bias. Other bulbs and lamps will work. The only issue really is that of quality, certification perhaps, and most importantly, you just don't know the dosage. So I just want to disclose that I do provide TheraBulb bulbs with all of our products and that I have that sort of relationship with them, but I do believe that the information I've shared with you is 100% accurate, and if things change over time, we can try to update this video. If you're interested in ordering some TheraBulb lamps for your own individual use or for your sauna or you want to replace the lamps that you have in your sauna, there's a link below that you can use to do so. Until next time, keep well.